Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in corner number three. But gutsy call there. Yang's at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Zayvon Collins there to make the play defensively. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. They go play action. Now Mahomes escaping the pressure right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And yeah, the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Throwing on second and three. Murray. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. <laughs> Throwing now is Murray. be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. They're going for it. It's Murray. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. But well, all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time throw on four. Now that had to feel good, didn't it? Taking that type of a gamble there and making it pay off. What a throw. And tough as a receiver because no matter how perfect the pass, you know it's fourth down and you got to convert. A little bit of extra pressure, but he overcame it. First down, Murray. That's complete once again to Hopkins. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Murray, a quick throw out to Kirk. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. On first and 10, here's Murray. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. 
Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. But what they're seeking with an RPO is space for the receiver to make a catch and then make a play downfield, but there wasn't any space available. Thus, the incompletion. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the markers. He'll stop him well short of the yellow line. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. Forced out to his left. His pass caught at the four. And he's going to be stopped shy of the end zone. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball is going to be going back to the Chiefs. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play. And this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Flush to his right. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And they'll get him down up past the 15. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They run it with McKinnon. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Flushed out right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. On second and ten, Mahomes. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. It's caught inside the 25. And he gets this down deep inside of Arizona's 15-yard line. A big play there for KC. On first down now, run with McKinnon. All the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Well, I have to think that the wheels are really spinning in their play caller's mind now. That little setback there on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Tyreek Hill there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Butker on for the PAT. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29.
ready to go with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense well they just gave up the score to tie it that's the bad news the good news plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here second down Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Murray. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Chiefs are going to take over here up near the 40. But we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Jarek McCannon, 61 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. They do tack on the extra point as well. And the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window I think you are I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go ah totally didn't affect me let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all still want to attack we'll see how they attack them here to throw is Murray. Pass complete to Harris. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding of where they are on the field? So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Back to throw, Murray. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. Murray to throw. And he can't get Throw away. He's taken down. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Now Murray. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That means there's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Now McCoy. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time. 